Good morning. It is what time? 8.16 a.m. on Tuesday, December 14th, 2021. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I've been fussing around with my audio settings again, and this is five more minutes. I just, I, you know, I, I can never get it where I want it, or if I decide that I get it close enough to where it might be more or less acceptable, I then decide that know later that you know mostly what it is is it's I, I I fiddle with it until it is uh, I, close enough that I'm tired of working on it and then later I decide that I've got enough energy to focus on it again I also delayed recording earlier because um, the person upstairs is doing some sort of presumably like maybe a vacuum related thing, but it's, it's, it, what it sounds like from down here is like, I'm not hearing a vacuum engine, but what I'm hearing is what sounds like someone dragging a, a vacuum cleaner back and forth over hardwood floors a lot, like doing it over and over and over. I think though that it's like so many of the noises that you hear through ceilings or floors or walls in an apartment building uh, it's it's muffled to the point where often the activity is disguised in a way that sounds like it seems almost inexplicable from my perspective but if i were to be watching it happen i would say oh yeah that obviously okay i i see why it would make that sound but i don't know it just reminds me though of uh, this was years ago now, but uh, he, getting multiple sound complaints from uh, the person below me and just feeling like, what are they talking about? Like, because what they were saying I was doing just wasn't happening. Like, I, and I was just, I, it was, I was confounded. Because I certainly didn't want to be causing them difficulty, but they were saying, like, you're exercising, you're jumping up and down, always at this time in the morning. And I'm like, that's just not happening, though. And years later, I realized that it was possible that Luna's little stairs that she had to get off the bed with there would be at a maximum of one time each morning her going hop, hop, hop. And that would be, would have been happening at about that time. And realizing that's probably what they were talking about. And now having to go back in my mind and realize from their perspective, they are hearing this sound every day and they make complaints and the person upstairs is just saying, no, that's not happening. I don't know what you're talking about. And just, and, and I think ultimately it just comes down to like, I don't know, communication because Maybe part of the issue is that I only ever heard their description of what they thought the sound was secondhand because they were making a complaint, not to me, but to the building manager who then passed it on to me who was saying, what's going on? They say you're jumping up and down. And I'm like, I'm not jumping up and down. I don't, I, I, I wouldn't. Now, I will also say, that the sound Luna was making, I don't think was extreme, but like, I'll, I'll admit that like, I, you know, if, if it's enough that it was waking them up or something. Okay. Yeah. I get that's annoying. I don't want to, you know, I wasn't doing it. <laughs> I didn't realize that was the problem. And if I had only had, uh, you know, if they had been there and, and, uh, told me, you know, at the time, it's like every morning, it's like bump, bump, bump. I probably would have been able to put it together. But when, <laughs> because I thought that they were talking about some, okay, anyway. 
just goes to show <laughs> that sometimes you don't know what's going on with other people. Communication is hard. And I'm sorry to whoever was my downstairs neighbor those years ago. I really didn't realize that's what you were talking about. Anyway, I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.